Earlier I did a recording to show the Iclops mini projector connected to a computer and a lot of people had comments asking how I connected it and to show what I what I plugged in where so now I'm gonna do a video showing that um, sorry for the bad quality I'm using a webcam and yeah it's pretty bad quality so <clears throat> first you would need the Iclops mini projector and a power source you can use the AC adapter or the the base I don't have batteries in the base so I'm not gonna use that I'll just use the um, AC adapter so first of course you need to plug the AC adapter into the wall or any outlet socket and then plug the other end between the, the headphones jack and the or the headphones port and the volume um, scrolling bar whatever thing so plug that in there then you need the converter the converter you'll have to plug in three different things you'll need the the source, the video source. So this, uh, this is the input source. You'll have to plug one end to your computer and the other end to here. And then these are all the outputs. So whatever you're gonna show the video on, you can show it on a monitor with this one or a projector. Other projectors use the VGA port as well. Some TVs and other monitors um, and projectors they use the S video. Uh, and then there's the composite which is um, what the iClops mini projector uses. This is actually the lowest um, quality video output on here. So if you have these for like your TV or projector, you should use those instead. Um, and chances are if, you, if your computer or TV has this, you shouldn't even use this um, converter box. You should just plug it directly from your computer into, the, into um, your TV or whatever else you're using. So first you plug in the VGA, or it doesn't matter the order, but okay, so plug in the VGA and then plug the other end to your computer. <coughs> then of course the converter also needs power, so you have the USB and power cable that comes with it. So plug this end into the the side that has these little um, switches. The switches um, let you change for NTSC and PAL depending on what region you're in. The TVs would use a different signal. So um, if the image comes out all messed up and scrambled, just switch the switches around. You can just try all the different combinations. Um, I have the one down and the two up. So after you plug in the power, plug the other one to your computer, the USB part to your computer, of course. And then, then you need the composite cable. There's yellow ones, white ones, red ones, it doesn't matter as long as you have um, both ends. You can plug, um, make sure both the same colors are being used. So the yellow one from Make sure you plug one to the yellow for the converter and the yellow of this, uh, the iClops mini projector. And then you don't really need this, but you can use it um, if you want to use the speaker from the iClops mini projector. It's a um, composite or the red and white to a 3.5 audio connector. So you can plug the red one to the red one and the white one to the white one. And then plug the other end into your computer, of course. If you're going to use headphones or other speakers, you can just plug it directly into your computer. If Because if you run it through here, it, you'll lose a little bit of sound quality. So, <clears throat> then to um, to connect it or to show the picture on the on the screen first you'll have to hold the Windows key this is for Windows 7 hold the Windows key and then press P and it'll pop up this menu here so you can just show the computer screen or you can duplicate it so that it shows on the projector exactly what's on your computer screen 
or you can extend it which lets you use the projector as a second screen or you can use the projector only which shows what's already on your computer screen on the projector and disables your computer screen. I wouldn't use the projector only because the the video quality on the iClops is kind of bad so it'll kind of be hard to click on things when it's all um, when the picture isn't that clear. So I usually use extend. So after you do that then after you click extend then you just turn on your projector and it should be showing. So I have this box here with paper inside to use as a screen. And you can see that it's projecting now. So you can show like a let's see I'll show like a short video clip. And that's how you connect it to. Um, that's how you connect it to a computer. And hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Right.